Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. The joke about Australian wildlife is that everything that's not venomous is poisonous. Sometimes it seems like the entire country is trying to kill you. This image hasn't been helped by that idiot crocodile hunter running all over the bush bothering every venomous animal he can find. Crikey! This spider's venom can kill an adult in three seconds! Watch what happens when I poke him with a stick! Incidentally, I'm half Aussie. My dad's from there, but I grew up mostly in Canada. Being Australian and named Steve invited inevitable comparisons with that lunatic. Anyway, there's one particular spider that is actually harmless to humans. It's just freaking huge. I knew it as the Grey Huntsman. It's also called the Sydney Huntsman. It's grey, obviously, and it's the size of my head. Normally that means butterflies, this time it's life-size spider. I wish I was exaggerating. Not only is it ginormous, it's everywhere. It seems to have blended seamlessly into living with humans. As the name suggests, it doesn't build webs, it hunts. Rather than wait around for things to blunder into its trap, this spider, the size of a dinner plate, stalks, runs down, and captures its prey, and then eats it alive. Sleep well. Mostly it feeds on insects, but it will also take small lizards, house pets, slow-moving children. I wish I was exaggerating about the lizards. When invertebrates start eating vertebrates, something is backwards. It's not aggressive, and if it bites you, it's because you are poking it when you shouldn't have. Bites are painful and swollen, but they shouldn't kill you. Wikipedia describes most bites as coming from inadvertent handling, which is a delicate way of saying poking around in the shed without looking. Why is that furry? Why is that moving? So at this point, you're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. This is a huntsman spider. It's not the exact same species, but it's similar. Just to give you some idea of perspective, the poor helpless insect it's got in its fangs is a beetle. And remember, this spider lives in a tropical climate where the beetles get fairly big. Sleep well. Wikipedia also says it has a cling reflex when picked up, which would be really cute if we were talking about kittens or puppies or something. Think of it from the poor old huntsman's perspective, though. As freaky looking as we find them, to them we're this huge thundering monster that they probably can't even see properly. Here's a huntsman, mind his own business, when this assemblage of grasping things almost as big as he is drops out of the sky, grabs him, and dangles him in the air. I don't know about you, but my reaction to that would be, Holy oh, crap! <clears throat> now let's turn the perspective around. If I had a furry, multi-legged thing, bigger than my hand, wrapped around my arm, my response to that would probably be, get it off, get it off, get it off! <clears throat> With exactly that high-pitched really scream. You wave any creature around like that, it's going to want to hang on with everything it's got, including its fangs. Anyway, when I was six and my sister was three, my family moved to Australia for a couple of years. We were heading to a realtor's office to find a place to live when Dad sees a grey husband barreling along the sidewalk towards us. To hear him tell it, the thing was moving at a pretty good clip. They're like the cheetahs of the arthropod world, if the cheetahs were ten times the size of the gazelles. Sleep well. Anyway, Dad grabbed me, Mum grabbed my sister, and we all dashed inside, slammed the door, boarded it shut, stacked chairs in front of the bedroom. Dad turns to the realtor and says, There's a huge goddamn spider out there! The realtor says, So? These things are so common and so harmless that nobody bats an eye, unless they're wearing one. When my cousin was a kid, one crawled on her head while she was riding in the car. I was just sitting up there, having a look around, with all the little legs hanging down like a fringe. She didn't even notice until somebody looked at her and said, um, I don't know exactly what happened next, but I suspect involved the poor spider having a high-velocity interaction with the black dog. Seriously, these things are everywhere. Sleep well. I don't remember the incident at the realtor's office, but I do remember seeing one when we went down to stay with my aunt and uncle for Christmas when I was 18. Christmas in Australia is the middle of summer, so I was outside on the patio throwing darts. Incidentally, we have a picture of me mowing the lawn on Christmas Day. 
I fared better than my dad, though. We have a picture of him shoveling dog poop on Christmas Day. Anyway, I'm throwing darts at a dart board, dismounted on a cork board, dismounted on the brick wall. I throw a dart, then I notice some movement behind the cork board. So I go over, I have a look, and there's this huge freaking spider squeezed into the space between the cork board and the brick. It's amazing what you can fit into when you don't have an internal skeleton. Sleep well. Anyway, at that point I said to myself, I think I've thrown enough darts for now. Edward! <clears throat> After I stopped freaking out enough to communicate coherently, she just rolled her eyes and said, all right, bring the issue. That's such an Aussie response. Weapon of choice for dealing with animals? Footwear. Any animals, by the way. We visited a family friend's cattle ranch once, and I got drafted into helping move the cattle from point A to point B. They posted me on a bend in the track and handed me a sample. My instructions were, if the cow doesn't go around the corner, give her a whack. Never mind that if the cow didn't go around the corner, I'd be hamburger. <laughs> hamburger, right? Because it's a, it's a cat. Never mind. Anyway, Animar goes out to face this freakishly oversized, harmless defensive spider armed only with a shoe and a can of bug spray. I'd say harmless, but the damn thing was big enough to take the shoe off for here back with it. Poor thing didn't get a chance though because she frosticled it. Okay, get a shovel. Just in case I haven't driven home just how huge these things are, shovel. I didn't go out to look, but I gather it was messy. I'm pretty sure the hose was deployed at one point as well. Here in Canada, most spiders can be dealt with just by stomping them or by grabbing them in a tissue and flushing them. Grey Huntsman won't fit down the drain pipe, and I would not be at all surprised if you told me the buggers could swim. For weeks afterwards, I would be checking every toilet for a giant spider with makeshift scuba gear and a grudge. So, show of hands, who's considering a trip to Australia? In all seriousness, huntsman spiders are actually beneficial, since they keep the insect population down. And if you do get bit, it's because you brought it on yourself. You'll have some pain to remind you not to do it again, but you shouldn't die. They're just freakishly large compared to tiny Canadian spiders. Thank you for watching. I've been Steve. Sleep well.